Welcome to another TBC 410 feature video. In this video we are going to be covering exporting projected surfaces as DXF and DWG formats, utilize drafting features, and show how to share project deliverables with Trimble Clarity. So here we are in TBC 410 and the data set that we're looking at here is a set of scan data that we got from a surveying company in Denver and the surveying company was tasked with monitoring this wall here that I'm going over with my cursor and the reason why they had to monitor it was because there was some excavating work being done beneath it so the owners of the building wanted to make sure that the wall wasn't moving and in some other videos I showed um, how to actually monitor that wall using projected surfaces so here in the view filter manager you can see uh, I have two scans. I have an initial building scan that they did before the excavation work began and then they have a monitoring scan that they took after the excavating uh, was the excavation work started. So as you can see the the wall doesn't look like it's you know super far out of place compared to the last scan. You can't even really tell any movement has occurred and uh, that's because I think the the movement was on the order of millimeters. So we really can't tell much just by looking at the point cloud. Um, but then what we did was we created two surfaces, um, an initial surface that we made out of the first scan, and then a monitoring surface that we made out of the second scan. So the reason why we're using these uh, surfaces is because we might want to um, export one of these surfaces uh, into another software. So with TBC 410, you can actually export surfaces as DXF and DWG formats. And you might want to do this because we have a design in another software, like let's say Civil 3D. So if I wanted to compare what the final wall surface looked like with another design um, that we have in a different software, I can just run through the exporting process. So to export your surface, we're going to go to the export command located in the home tab. So we're just going to click on that. And then we're going to go to the CAD tab. And here you can see the two options for exporting your surface. And we're going to go with the DWG um, just to show it in Civil 3D. So for the data, we're going to click on the surface and we'll see now we have one object selected we can give it a name um, I already have this name uh, it's already populated with the file name um, but we can change it to something else uh, to make it a little more descriptive here we can say monitoring surface and this will actually save to the same file as the project it, or project file Okay, so we can check our settings. That all looks good. Um, we're going to export in meters since that's what our project is in and um, that's what our design is in, we're assuming. And we're just going to hit export. So here we are in Autodesk Civil 3D 2019. And I'm going to show you how to get that DWG file that we exported. So we're actually going to go to the open command up here instead of dragging and dropping. And here we are, and we're going to select the file that we exported, hit open. So here we are, and if we can't see it, um, you can always go to the View tab and then hit Extents. And here is the surface, and we can zoom in, and we can see that we can select all of these 3D faces. Projected surfaces also have full drafting support. So if we wanted to take this cut fill map and put it onto a drafting sheet and print it out for a paper deliverable um, or a digital deliverable, we can use the pre-built drafting templates. So we're gonna go to the drafting tab and then we're gonna click on the drafting templates command. And this is gonna pull up the drafting templates file location with all the pre-built drafting templates 
and you can find more information on drafting templates and drafting in general um, on the TBC survey page on YouTube. So we're just going to drop in this um, ArchD 24 by 36 plan and profile, drag and drop. So now it's here. We can see it in the plan sets in the Project Explorer. We've got a cross-section plan and profile, plans, and plan view grid. And just for the sake of this demo, we're just going to go into a plan sheet, uh, sheet view. So we're going to right click and hit new sheet view. So now we've got our drafting sheet pulled up here. And so what we're going to do is use DynaViews to show the projected surface cut fill map on this sheet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the 3D view and we're going to hit the create DynaView command in the drafting tab. And we're going to name it. And we can keep it on this layer if we want to, or we can change the layer. And um, I'll just create a new one just for DynaViews. Hit OK. And then now you have to select our frame. So we're going to use that surface boundary that we already have, the CAD polyline. And then now we can actually go back into that uh, sheet view and place our Dyna view. So we can see here in the preview that the cut fill surface is going to be pretty small. So we're going to have to modify this scale a little bit. So we'll go down to 30. This looks good. So we'll just place it and um, it'll automatically populate um, with the, the coordinates and then it'll ask for rotation and then you can just click again if you don't want to rotate it and then it'll place it. And so here we go, we've got the cut fill map in our drafting sheet and now we can add annotations or um, fulfill any other drafting requirements. So we're going to take a little bit of a sidestep here in terms of what data we're looking at. Um, and the reason is because I wanted to show the publishing to Clarity. And to publish uh, to Clarity, we need a, a, a station set up. And in this data set, um, the wall monitoring data set, we don't have a station. So we can't show that functionality properly. And we wanted to show the publishing to Clarity along with all the other deliverables that we can create. So the data set that we're going to be jumping into is the DAM data set that we've been looking at in a couple of our other videos that we've posted on projected surfaces. So you can go to the Home tab, hit Publish to Clarity. You can select your station, hit Publish. And once it's published, you can share your link and anyone with an internet connection can view your data, which includes the projected surface, leveraged with photos collected from the total station.